Today I'm going to show you how to make crock pot lasagna, Tex-Mex style. Pretty simple, takes about four hours. Start out with a pound of ground beef, and I usually use a link of chorizo. To that I add some peppers and onions, kind of whatever you put in your Mexican food, whatever you like. Let this cook for a while, probably about a good 10 or 15 minutes. I like to make sure the chorizo and everything is cooked. At the end of that time, it should look like this, all browned and good. To that, I add a can, a large can of tomato. It can be crushed tomatoes, tomato sauce, tomato cubed, whatever. I then add a small can of the diced tomatoes with onions and chilies and stuff like that. Mix all of that together. Don't worry about it being soupy, it's got to be, because it will dry out otherwise in the crock pot sitting there for so long. Next, I add a tablespoon of cumin and a tablespoon of chili powder. You could probably go a little more on the chili powder, but it's up to you. To that, I add a squirt of sriracha sauce and a little bit of tamasula flavor. It's not really hot, but it has a really good Mexican flavor. Now we're going to take it, let that cook for a while when it all gets heated up, not too hot. Let it cool down a little bit and then start spooning it into the bottom. You want a, what, a nice layer on the bottom to put the noodles on. Make sure you cover the whole bottom. You want to start laying your lasagna noodles in there. The bottom has got a double layer. So, unfortunately, lasagna noodles are rectangular and most crock pots are round. But it's okay, you can put them in there any way you want. Over that, I mix in some salsa con queso, the chipotle cheese, whatever that is, and uh, throw that on top. That's my layer of cheese. And if you were doing this Italian style, you'd be using like a ricotta cheese. But on here, I use the uh, this Mexican cheese, the queso cheese, and it's pretty good. Spread it out evenly so that all the, you know, it gets everywhere because it's going to all melt together over time. Pour your meat mixture with the tomatoes on top of that. Spread that all out. Do a nice job while you're making it. You want to get all the noodles covered, otherwise you're going to get hard, hard spots and you, you don't want that. Make sure everything is covered in there. Use enough sauce. There, there's enough when you make it this way. Now I take the noodles and I crisscross the pattern, break them in half and put them this way. And same thing. Put cheese on top of that and then meat on top of that. After I get all of the layers done, I top it off with a couple of slices of uh, chipotle gouda cheese. Uh, it's a spicy gouda, it's pretty good. Alright, four hours, we open it up, oh, doesn't that look good? Alright, crispy around the edges, all nice and melted together, all the different cheeses and everything in there. You can put whatever kind of cheeses you want in between, it's just, there it is. So I have four hours on low, and uh, there it is, everything cuts real nice. Doesn't matter which way the noodles are, they all cut. And uh, we'll show you what a piece of this looks like now. Got a meal for at least a couple meals out of this. You can tell this is my plate, I'm having two scoops. And there it is Tex Mex lasagna in a crock pot. Hope you enjoy it.